Hello to all my friends and subscribers. Salamu alaikum. Kesa he. Magandang araw sa lahat. Buenos tardes. And of course to all who are watching, good day to all of you. Welcome to my YouTube channel and here I'm gonna make AutoCAD easy and a handy tool for you. Today we're gonna talk about the top 10 basic commands that a beginner should master. Unlike the draw command where the object doesn't exist and you need to create a new ones, modify commands will make some changes or modification in an object that is already there, whether you want to replicate it, resize it or make it bigger or smaller, transfer it from one place to another, or simply get rid of it. So let's get started, let's open an AutoCAD. Let's set the units into millimeters, UN, enter. Insertion scale, millimeters. Precision, let's choose zero. And just to have some samples, let's create a rectangle in the circle. REC, enter. First corner, 0, 0, 0. Other corner point, 1000, 1000. Enter. Zoom extent, that's Z, enter, E, enter. Circle, C, enter. Center point, just pick anywhere. Radius, 150. So these are our samples. Let's proceed with the countdown. On number 10 is move command. It is the command when you want to transfer an object from one place to another. You can access this command in the ribbon under the home tab, modify panel, and the move command is this crossing with an arrow pointing to all direction. You can click this or simply type the keyboard shortcut M, enter. On the command line, select objects. You can select anything. Let's say this circle. Specify base point, you can pick anywhere on the object itself or you can type outside the object. And as you move your pointer, your object will also move. You can pick randomly anywhere you want on the screen or you can move with a specified length. You can position your mouse anywhere, press your F8, you can choose up or down, left or right. But for now, let's position our mouse on the left. Then type the desired amount, let's say 500, enter. Then your object will move 500 millimeters away from the original position. Now what I'm gonna do is position this circle exactly at the center of this rectangle. We're gonna do this with the help of some function keys. So M for move, enter, select object, select the circle, enter, specify base point, press F3, then pick the center of the circle. Turn off your F8 so you can move freely, press F11, object snap tracking on, Hover down the midpoint of this rectangle, but do not pick. Wait until this green tracking line to appear, and do the same thing on the other midpoint. And wait until this green tracking line appear. Move on the center and let these two tracking lines intersect. Then pick. Now, the circle is at the center of this rectangle. And the ninth place is offset, and this is this icon right here on the modify panel as you can see on the screen. You can click it or simply type O enter. Offset will copy or create another object that is parallel or concentric to the original object with the offset distance that you're about to specify. So let's try offset distance of 50, type 50, enter. Select object to offset, select this rectangle. And as you move your mouse, you can see that there will be another copy of the object which is exactly 50 millimeters away from the original one. If you want the offset object to be inside, Position your mouse in this direction, but if you want it outside, position your mouse in this direction. For now, let's position our mouse inside. You can offset any object like this circle. Offset, offset distance 50, press enter. Select the circle. And you can offset no matter how many times you want. On the 8th place is copy. It is a command to replicate objects. You can see it under the move icon which is this one, you can click it or simply type CO, enter. Select objects, you can select any object you want, but for now let's select everything. I'm doing the crossing selection. Specify base point or this is the point where you wanted to hold the object. You can hold anywhere on the object, just make sure that your F3 is on or you can pick outside the object. And as you move the mouse, you can see that the object has been copied. You can drop it anywhere, or you can specify a correct distance. Position your mouse, whether it is upward or sideways, then type the desired amount. Let's say 2000. Now these objects are 2000 millimeters away from the base point. Moving down to number seven is rotate. And from the name of it, 
this command will turn objects around, whether freely or with a specified angle. And you can do this effortlessly with the use of a polar tracking or hitting this polar tracking icon on the status bar. To illustrate, I just made a small rectangle on this side just to make it different from the other three sides. And we're going to rotate it. Rotate icon can be found here at the modify panel right beside the move command. You can either click it or just type the shortcut RO. Select objects, select all these objects, specify base point, specify the center of the circle. Just make sure your F3 is on. Turn off your F8. As you move your mouse, you can see that your objects are rotating. You can click anywhere on the screen for the rotation angle or you can turn this polar tracking on. You can click it or just press F10. And when you right click this icon, you can see the angle presets and you can choose one according to your preference. Let's say 30. And on every 30 degree, a polar tracking will appear. This green dotted line. Now you rotated your object. Moving down to number 6 is divide. And from the sound of it, it will divide lines and arcs into number of segments that you're about to specify. It is done by creating an equally distributed points along the line or arcs. To illustrate, suppose you have a line here. Press F8. Let's say a 2000 millimeter line. The divide icon is under the draw panel, which is this one. It is basically under the draw panel because it creates a point. But we can include it in the modify because it was created from an existing object. You can click this icon or just type div on the keyboard shortcut. Select object to divide. Select this line. Enter the number of segments. Let's say 7. For now, you can see that nothing happened. But when you move this line, you can see that there are some points that are equally placed along the line to divide this line into 7 equal segments. I will escape. And to make the points visible, type DDP type. And you can choose a more visible point markers. Point size, let's make it around 7. Okay. On the fifth place is the stretch command. And it is not so difficult to understand why it is called stretch because it will make an object longer or shorter according to your preferences. The stretch icon can be found here on the modify panel under the copy command. You can either click it or type the keyboard shortcut S, enter. Select an object. You can select the objects that you can stretch by crossing window. Specify base point. You can pick a base point on the object itself or you can pick outside the object. And as you move your mouse, you can see that you are stretching the object that you selected. You can pick anywhere. Or you can type a specified amount. Let's say 500. So this object is 500 millimeters longer than the original one. I also like to stretch this small rectangle. S, enter. And I want this side to be exactly on the center of this circle. Make sure your F3 is on. Center, pick. Same thing here, S. And I want this side to be touching the rectangle. On the fourth place is the trim command and its counterpart, the extend command. Trim is a perfect command to cut lines and polylines, splines, arcs, and circles, and any other objects. Trim and command was changed into a quick mode on the latest AutoCAD 2021 release, which means it will no longer ask for a cutting edge or a boundary edges. For further details, please watch my videos What's New on AutoCAD 2021 on the link below. To illustrate, I have here some vertical lines, a horizontal line, and a spline. Trim will cut or delete all the line segments within any intersecting lines. And in this illustration, this is a line segment. This is also a line segment, and this is a line segment, or any lines that are inside the intersection. Trim can be found on the same modify panel, which is this icon, but it's always faster to use the keyboard shortcut, which is TR. Select objects, you can select the objects that you want to trim right away. Hold the shift key, you are reversing the command which is extend. Now let's try the extend, the icon is right here on the trim flyout. Or type the keyboard shortcut EX or extend. 
and you can extend any object you want. If you hold the shift key, you are reversing the command into trim. And to apply trim to our very famous logo, you already know the offset, O, enter, and I want to offset this small rectangle by 30. It's already 30, just press enter, pick, and pick outside. Now let's command trim, TR, enter. Instead of selecting object, I will define a cutting edge, so I will type T, enter. I will choose this rectangle. Select object to trim, I'm going to select these line segments. And as you can see, it will be trimmed according to the cutting edges that we defined. Also trim, no need cutting edges, I'm going to treat these unnecessary objects. Enter. Running down the third place is the fillet command. This is the icon and the keyboard shortcut is F. Fillet will create round corners by creating an arc that is tangent to the objects that we are about to be selected. F, enter. Currently, the radius is 0. Let's change it into 100. Type R for radius and enter the value which is 100. Then, you can select near the endpoint of the objects that you are going to select. But what if you want to make a corner without the radius? Type fillet, change the radius back to 0. Type R, 0. M or multiple, so you can fill it no matter how many times you like. And the second most basic command that beginner should master in AutoCAD is none other than Erase. You can click this Erase icon or simply type E, Enter. And you can select objects either by directly picking it, crossing, windowing, or whatever method you, you want to choose. If you're done with your selection, press Enter. Before we go to number 1, please do me a favor by clicking the like and subscribe button and hit the bell icon for future contents. And the number 1 most basic and for me is the coolest command a beginner should master is the match property. You can find the icon here on the properties panel and the match property is this big square something with a paintbrush. You can either click it or simply type MA, enter. Match property will copy the properties of the first object that you will select into the destination object that you're about to select, whether it is a color, layer, height, thickness, and so on. So let's pick this blue line, then destination object, let's pick this blue line. Just be careful not to select the unnecessary objects and enter to repeat the last command which is match property pick you can also do it with the text pick the first object and match it with the second object enter so there you have the top 10 basic modify commands a beginner in AutoCAD should master. If you don't agree with my countdown, if you feel that the other command should be on top of the other, please comment down below. And if you find this video useful, please do me a favor by clicking the like and subscribe button and hit the bell icon for some future contents. Thank you for watching, stay home and stay healthy, stay positive, and God bless.